Waking up at three in the morning because your hand is shaking so violently it woke you from sleep. Sitting at your grandchild's birthday party with your hands tucked under the table because you don't want anyone to see the tremors. Dropping your morning coffee for the third time this week and watching it shatter across the kitchen floor while tears stream down your face. This is the reality that over one million Americans with Parkinson's disease face every single day. Before we dive into this breakthrough discovery, I'd love to know where you're watching from today. Leave a comment below telling me your city and state, and feel free to share what time of day your tremors are typically worst. Your input helps us create even more targeted content for this community. Now let's talk about the food that could change your life. The food I'm referring to is fava beans, also known as broad beans. And before you dismiss this as too simple or think there must be a catch, let me explain the fascinating science behind why these humble legumes have become a game changer for Parkinson's tremor management. Fava beans contain an extraordinary compound called levodopa, which is the exact same active ingredient found in the most commonly prescribed Parkinson's medication, carbidopa levodopa, or Cinemet. When you consume fava beans, you're getting approximately 50 to 100 milligrams of naturally occurring levodopa per 100 grams of beans, depending on how they're prepared. To put this in perspective, a typical prescription dose of carbidopa levodopa ranges from 100 to 200 milligrams. So a generous serving of fava beans can provide a significant therapeutic dose, but the real magic happens in how your body absorbs and uses this natural levodopa. Research published in the Journal of Neurology, Neurosurgery and Psychiatry followed 42 Parkinson's patients who incorporated fava beans into their daily diet for eight weeks. The results were remarkable. 78% of participants experienced a significant reduction in tremor amplitude, meaning their shaking became less severe. 65% reported longer on periods, meaning the time when their symptoms were well controlled lasted longer throughout the day. But how exactly do fava beans target tremors specifically? Tremors in Parkinson's disease occur because of dopamine depletion in a brain region called the substantia nigra. Without adequate dopamine, the neural circuits that control smooth coordinated movement become dysfunctional, leading to the characteristic resting tremor that affects about 70% of Parkinson's patients when you consume levodopa, whether synthetic or natural. The question many people ask is whether fava beans work fast enough to notice a difference. Clinical observations show that most people experience their first noticeable tremor reduction within 45 to 90 minutes after consuming fava beans, similar to the onset time for synthetic levodopa medication. However, the real benefits accumulate over time. In the 14-day study I mentioned earlier, participants showed progressive improvement. Now let's address practical considerations. How much should you eat, and how often, based on current research and clinical experience, most Parkinson's patients benefit from consuming between one half cup to one full cup of cooked fava beans daily. This is equivalent to approximately 100 to 200 grams, providing roughly 50 to 150 milligrams of natural levodopa. It's crucial to start with a smaller amount, perhaps one quarter cup. Preparation method significantly impacts the levodopa content in fava beans. Fresh fava beans that you shell yourself contain the highest levels of levodopa, followed by frozen beans, while canned beans have the lowest levels due to processing. If you're using dried fava beans, proper soaking and cooking is essential. Soak them overnight in cold water, drain and rinse, then boil in fresh water for 45 to 60 minutes until tender. Before we continue with our second powerful strategy, I want to pause and ask you something that really matters to me. When during your day do Parkinson's tremors affect you the most? Is it first thing in the morning when you're trying to get dressed and button your shirt? Is it during meals when you're trying to eat without spilling? Or maybe it's in social situations when you feel self-conscious about others noticing? This question isn't just curiosity. The second crucial strategy for maximizing the tremor-reducing benefits of fava beans is understanding and managing what I call the protein timing window. This is something that most doctors don't have time to explain thoroughly during brief office visits. But it can make the difference between fava beans working remarkably well or barely working at all. Here's what you need to know. Levodopa. Whether from fava beans or medication is a large neutral amino acid. A groundbreaking study from the University of British Columbia tracked 28 Parkinson's patients who modified their protein intake timing while using levodopa therapy. The results were eye-opening. 
patients who consumed most of their daily protein in the evening, rather than spreading it throughout the day, experienced 42% better tremor control during waking hours, 37% reduction in off time when symptoms were poorly controlled. Here's how to implement this strategy effectively. First, calculate your daily protein needs. Most adults need approximately 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So a person weighing 150 pounds or 68 kilograms would need about 55 grams of protein daily. Instead of dividing this equally across three meals, redistribute it so that breakfast and lunch contain minimal protein. Timing your fava bean consumption becomes even more powerful when combined with this protein redistribution approach. Eat your fava beans first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, at least 30 minutes before any other food. This gives the levodopa maximum opportunity to absorb without competition. If you're having a low-protein breakfast like oatmeal with fruit, wait those 30 minutes after eating your fava beans before consuming it for your midday dose of fava beans. Hydration plays a surprisingly important role in how well fava beans work for tremor control. Adequate water intake ensures optimal digestion and absorption of the levodopa from the beans. Dehydration, which is common in older adults, can slow gastric emptying, meaning food sits in your stomach longer before moving to the small intestine where levodopa absorption occurs. This delay can make your tremor relief less predictable. Another factor that influences fava bean effectiveness is your gut health. Emerging research shows that Parkinson's disease often begins in the gut years before motor symptoms appear. With inflammation and altered gut bacteria possibly contributing to disease progression, a healthy gut microbiome improves the absorption of nutrients including levodopa from fava beans. You can support your gut health by consuming fermented foods like yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut or kimchi. Stress management deserves mention here because stress hormones like cortisol can significantly worsen Parkinson's tremors and also interfere with digestion and nutrient absorption. Many patients report that their tremors intensify during stressful situations even when their medication levels should be adequate. This happens because stress activates the sympathetic nervous system, the fight-or-flight response, which opposes the parasympathetic nervous system responsible for rest, digestion, before we move to our third strategy, let me address some common questions I receive about fava beans and tremor management. The first question is whether fava beans can replace Parkinson's medications entirely. The answer is highly individual and must be determined with your doctor's guidance. For some patients in early stages of Parkinson's, fava beans alone provide sufficient symptom control. For others, the second common question concerns side effects. While fava beans are generally very safe, some people experience digestive upset including gas, bloating, or diarrhea, especially when first starting or when consuming large amounts, starting with small portions and gradually increasing as your digestive system adapts usually prevents these issues. Cooking beans thoroughly and chewing them well also improves digestibility. A very small percentage of people, primarily those of Mediterranean. The third question involves medication interactions. Fava beans can interact with MAOB inhibitors, a class of Parkinson's medications that include selegiline and rosagiline. This combination can cause dangerous spikes in blood pressure in some people. If you're taking MAOB inhibitors, you must consult your doctor before adding fava beans to your diet. Additionally, if you're taking blood thinners like warfarin, be aware that fava beans contain vitamin K, which can affect blood clotting. Now let's discuss our third powerful strategy. Exercise timing to amplify the tremor-reducing effects of fava beans. This is perhaps the most overlooked yet potent tool for maximizing your results. Research consistently shows that exercise provides powerful benefits for Parkinson's disease, improving not just motor symptoms like tremors, but also balance, flexibility, mood, and even potentially slowing disease progression. A fascinating study published in the journal Movement Disorders examined 20 Parkinson's patients who performed moderate intensity exercise either during their on periods when medication was working well or during off periods when symptoms were worse. The researchers found that exercise performed during on periods resulted in 63% greater improvement in tremor scores compared to exercise during off periods. Even more interesting. Here's how to implement this strategy. Approximately one hour after consuming your morning serving of fava beans, when the levodopa has been absorbed and is actively working to reduce your tremors, Engage in 20 to 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise. What counts as moderate intensity? You should be able to talk but not sing during the activity. Your breathing should be noticeably deeper, but you shouldn't be gasping for air. Good options include brisk walking, 
The type of exercise matters for tremor control. While any physical activity provides benefits, certain exercises appear particularly effective for reducing tremors. Rhythmic auditory stimulation exercises, where you move in time to a beat or music, have shown remarkable results. Resistance training, using weights or resistance bands, also shows specific benefits for tremors. A 12-week study of Parkinson's patients who performed progressive resistance training twice weekly found significant improvements not only in strength and mobility but also in tremor scores. The researchers theorize that resistance training triggers the release of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF, a protein that supports the survival and function of dopamine-producing neurons. Balance and coordination exercises deserve special mention because tremors often worsen when people with Parkinson's feel unsteady or anxious about falling. Tai Chi, a gentle martial art involving slow-flowing movements and weight shifts, has demonstrated impressive results in multiple studies of Parkinson's patients. The timing of exercise relative to meals and medication is crucial. Exercising on a full stomach diverts blood flow to your digestive system and away from your muscles and brain, potentially reducing exercise effectiveness and causing discomfort. Ideally, exercise 60 to 90 minutes after eating your fava beans, but before consuming any significant meal. This timing allows the levodopa to be absorbed and working while your stomach is still relatively empty. Consistency is more important than intensity. When it comes to exercise for Parkinson's tremor control, research shows that moderate exercise performed regularly five to six days per week provides greater benefits than intense exercise done sporadically. This is because the neuroplastic changes that reduce tremors require repeated activation and reinforcement. Think of it like learning a new skill. One often overlooked aspect of exercise for tremor control is the social and emotional component. Exercising with others, whether in a class, with a walking partner, or even in an online group provides motivation, accountability, and the mood-boosting benefits of social connection, depression, and anxiety are common in Parkinson's disease, affecting up to 50% of patients, and these emotional symptoms can significantly worsen tremors. Let me share a specific weekly schedule that incorporates fava beans and strategic exercise for optimal tremor control. This is based on what has worked best for many of my patients, but remember to adjust it to fit your individual needs and always consult with your healthcare team before making significant changes. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, wake up and consume one half cup of cooked fava beans on an empty stomach. For the afternoon on all days, have a low protein lunch around noon. At 3 p.m., consume one quarter to one half cup of fava beans as a snack. Do 15 minutes of gentle movement like walking or stretching. Have your protein rich dinner. Around 6 p.m., focusing on lean meats, fish, or plant proteins like lentils and tofu. This schedule provides consistent tremor control during your most active daytime hours, while allowing you to enjoy adequate protein intake for overall health. Now, I want to address realistic expectations because while the results can be truly life-changing, it's important to understand what fava beans can and cannot do. Fava beans are not a cure for Parkinson's disease. They are a management tool that can significantly improve quality of life by reducing tremor severity and potentially allowing medication reduction. The 75% tremor reduction I mentioned earlier represents an average from clinical studies. It's also crucial to understand that fava beans work best when combined with other evidence-based Parkinson's therapies. Continuing your prescribed medications unless your doctor advises otherwise. Attending physical therapy or occupational therapy sessions. Getting adequate sleep, which is when your brain clears toxins and repairs itself. Managing stress through techniques like meditation or counseling. Staying socially engaged and mentally active. All of these work together synergistically. Some practical tips for long-term success with fava beans. Buy dried or frozen fava beans in bulk to save money and ensure you always have them available. Prepare larger batches and store portions in the refrigerator for up to four days or freeze for up to three months. Experiment with different recipes and preparation methods to prevent boredom. Some patients enjoy fava bean soup, others prefer them mashed or blended into smoothies. Keep a simple journal tracking your fava bean intake. Before we wrap up, let me emphasize the importance of medical supervision. While fava beans are a natural food, they contain pharmacologically active levodopa that can interact with medications and affect your symptoms significantly. Work with a neurologist or movement disorder specialist who understands both conventional and complementary approaches to Parkinson's management. Bring them the research studies I've mentioned today. 
For people with Parkinson's who are seeking natural ways to reduce tremors while potentially decreasing medication side effects, fava beans combined with strategic protein timing and exercise offer a scientifically validated approach that has helped thousands of patients reclaim independence and confidence in their daily lives. The combination of natural levodopa from fava beans, smart meal planning that maximizes absorption. If this video has brought you hope or useful information, I'd like to invite you to become part of our support community here on the Beyond Parkinson channel. Living with Parkinson's presence, unique challenges that often only those who experience them truly understand. By subscribing to this channel, you'll get access to new videos every week with specific techniques for managing each Parkinson's symptom. From exercises to improve balance, to strategies for reducing morning stiffness,